Hello everyone, my name is Said Safavi, I am from University of Surrey. This video contains the full presentation for an accepted paper at PK's workshop with the title of Open Window, which is a sound in a data set for window state detection and recognition. Completion of this work was not possible without the technical support of my colleague Toro Ethel and academic supervision of Professor Wen Wang, Professor Mark Crombie, and Dr. Philip Toll. The outline of my today's presentation is as follows. First, I will talk about the manually collected data set. Then machine-based time framework will be introduced with its corresponding components. It will be followed by the description of human listening tests and the obtained results. And finally, I will summarize the finding of the paper and possible future direction in the conclusion section. This data set is manually recorded at three different locations a farm, and two offices. The farm is located in the Brook in Surrey County in the United Kingdom. The recordings were made in an open plan studio flat area in the center of the farm. The recordings in this location have the lowest level of background noise due, due mainly to a quiet environmental surrounding. Office number one, which is an office at the University of Surrey, Guildford, United Kingdom. The recordings are made in an open plan office located on the first floor at the Center for Vision, Speech, and Signal Processing. Since this office accommodates 16 researchers, recording, recordings in this location have the highest level of background noise. Office number two is an office again at CVSSP at the University of Surrey. The recordings were made in a small size open plan office this time. This office accommodates eight researchers, and the recordings made in this office considered to have a medium level of background noise. At each location, 19 audio sessions are recorded, 60 one-minute recordings for static state setup, and 30 15-second recordings for transitional state setup. The naming format uh, for the files in this, or for the audio files in this data set is as follows. It's location underscore state underscore time underscore IDX, which is index. State means state of the window, and it's one of the following. Capital O stands for open, capital C for close. OC means a transition from open to close, and CO means transition from close to open. Timestamp will be either AM, which means the recording is made in the morning between 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. N, which stands for noon, and it means the recording were made from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. Then p.m. means afternoon and falls with this index are recorded between 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. And finally, the IDX shows file ID number. For example, for this particular waveform, it's file farm underscore c underscore pm underscore zero one dot wave. It means this file is recorded at farm in the afternoon and the window is closed and the file ID is zero one. The recordings made at two offices, as it's mentioned previously, and a story of that farm. And for recordings, we used a dedicated laptop, an external sound card and high quality microphone. As it's shown in the right hand figure, the microphone is connected to the XLR input of the external sound card via a cable. The external sound card is then connected to the dedicated laptop and it's controlled by Ableton Live 10 software for setting configurations and exporting the recorded audio files. It is useful to note that the microphone is located approximately 10 centimeters away from the window and it's fixed using a microphone holder as it's shown in the right-hand side figure. And the left-hand side figure shows the, the pan view of the Office 2 uh, location. To validate our data set, we have used a simple CNN architecture as our machine learning baseline system, which is shown in this figure. The open window data set provides recording at 16 bits pulse code modulated waveforms sampled at 44 kilohertz. Instead of using the waveforms directly, our baseline system extracts log mail spectrograms and then uses these 
spectrograms as an input to the CNN. The CNN that we use is comprised of five convolutional layers, as is shown in this figure, and a single fully connected layer. Each convolutional layer is followed by batch normalization and ReLU activation function and two by two max pooling. The number of output feature for each convolutional layer is detailed in this table. After the convolutional layer, the spatial dimension, dimensions are reduced to the scalar by taking the average. The resulting 512 features are then mapped to k equal to four class probabilities using a fully connected layer and the soft max nonlinearity. The total number of parameters is slightly over 3.5 million. As a result of this, the computational demands and memory requirements are relatively low. In this slide, we summarize the obtained performances of CNN classifier. As you can see, the results are divided into open and closed set scenarios. In the closed set scenario, the training set, the validation set, and test sets are sampled from the same distribution. More specifically, they are all contained audio clip from all three of the recording locations. In the open set scenario, the training set, validation set, and test set contains audio clip from different recording locations. To be able to make a fair comparison between the two scenarios, we also present results for the baseline when trained on fold five and six only and refer to the system as closed set dash 50% in the, in the tabulated results. As you can see, it's the second row of this table. To score the systems, we use two metrics, accuracy and mean average precision, short as MAP. Comparing the results, results from closed sets experiments, it can be seen that holding the number of training clips from 180 to 90 reduces the accuracy by almost 20% in absolute terms and the MAP by more than 20%. This demonstrates the importance of training data and that a small amount of data can lead to poor performance. Observing the open set results, it can be seen that leaving out clips from the farm location during training and testing can improve the performance greatly. The accuracy increases from 60.2% to 82.9%. 80, Moreover, only testing clips from the farm location or training exclusively with clips from the farm location drastically decreases the performance. The accuracy decreased by more than 20%. It should be noted, however, that accuracy is still notably higher than 25%, which is the expected accuracy for random guessing. To analyze the closed set system in more detail, this figure presents the class-wise performance of the system. It can be seen that the transition classes are the easiest to classify, followed by the open state class. The system did poorly on the closed set class, which is understandable considering there is less acoustic activity during this state. In this figure, we present the location wise performance of the system. It can be seen that the recordings in Office 1 are easiest to classify, followed by Farm and Office 2 in the order. These results show that the farm location is not inherently difficult location for the baseline, despite the fact that lack of acoustic activity in these locations is observed. For human listening tests, eight listeners participated, which are mainly research fellows at Center for Vision, Speech, and Signal Processing. Each participant initially trained for two separate tests using the static state and transitional state. This figure, the top right hand figure, shows the platform which is used to train the human listeners. Each listener listened to nine randomly selected files, which are three audio files per location and per state. And it is the same for static state and transitional state. Then each participant listened to 120 audio files for each of the two separate experiments. For static state experiment, the duration of each audio file is approximately 60 seconds, and for transitional state experiment, the duration of each audio file is approximately 15 seconds. Since the human listener was trained using audio files from all locations, 
then their obtained performances are comparable with the closed set results from the machine baseline. For human listening tests, we have used Max Studio software uh, and the interface is shown in the bottom, uh, bottom right-hand figure. This table shows window state classification performance achieved by human listener for both static state and transitional state tests. The results are presented as an average for each setup and then a third analysis divided further for each location. The table shows that humans are very accurate in classifying transitional window state in a noisy environment, which is office number one by achieving an accuracy of 96.25%. Evidently, humans have difficulty classifying static state in, in quiet places, which means in fall, with an average accuracy of 61.25%. A comparison of average performances for two different setups reveals that human can benefit from sequential uh, information in the transitional state setup and classify more accurately for transitional states than static state events. Finally, to conclude this presentation, we can say that in this research, open window data set, which is manually recorded audio data set, is presented. Full description of this audio data set is described and the data is released on Zenodo so it can be used for research purpose by others. The recorded data set contains around three and a half hours of audio data recorded at three locations and from two different recording setups, which are static and transition states. Open Window is the first audio data set recorded that reflects the differences in the acoustic cues of indoor and outdoor environments. The data set is available for research and development in a variety of fields like security and living enhancements. To validate the consistency of open window, two baseline systems have been tested and compared, which are machine and human baseline. To obtain results show that human outperforms machine learning methods in classification of window states. The results suggest that including sequential features could improve the machine performance further for the transitional state setup. With sequential features, for example, we can include delta and delta delta features on top of log noise spectrograms. In this particular research, we have used log noise spectrograms as an input for the CNN baseline. Other features can be also used as an input in future to build more accurate models. For example, RD60, which is a representation of reverberation, clarity, and a reverberance. Thank you very much for listening to our presentation. Keep safe. Bye for now.